now we're going to show you a really fun pattern, the Christmas tree pattern. Of course, you begin, again, like you do with all other foundation pieces, you Xerox your pattern. And then for this little tree, you would foundation piece each section with a different color of green. Watch or have fun with the colors. So in the middle, maybe you want all the light coming through the middle of the tree and the dark on the sides. That will kind of help bend the tree. It will give it a three-dimensional look. So besides being three-dimensional, you can also work with your color to help add to that dimensional feel. If you're not familiar with paper piecing, again, go back to our basic foundation piecing to show you how to do this. Next, after each piece has been foundation pieced, you are going to layer it with a piece of backing fabric that is the size of the unit, this whole size. See, it's bigger actually. Then you're going to layer it with a thin polyester bonded batting. You do polyester because you pre shrink your fabric and the polyester won't shrink, and so that's going to help a lot. So, this is all layered. After it's layered, you're going to sew on this solid scallop line. That's all you sew on. Once that, and you can use a smaller stitch length. Uh, it's always great because it actually, you can maneuver your machine a little better because the feed dogs don't feed it through quite as fast, and it makes a tighter, more reliable stitch, which is wonderful. Okay, dashed line will also be this part. So cut all of that. Then you're going to remove the paper and you're going to turn it right side out and you want to work with the iron so that these scallops are well defined. Now we've when we added the batting it it really makes these scallops nice and stuffed but it's not stuffed enough. So what we're going to do is add more stuffing to each section. We're going to take a little stuffing, stuff it down at the scallop, and then we're going to machine stitch that line to hold the stuffing where you know in that area and machine stitch here. Then we'll add a little more stuffing or batting or whatever you want to use to puff it up and then we'll stitch again and we'll stitch again. Uh, do this third section until you have this. Now at this point you don't want to use a really hot iron because you can flatten the the loft in that batting so it's just as flat as it was without stuffing. Okay so you have all your pieces looking like this. Then what you want to do is take your tree sections and tape them together so that the lines all match. You're going to foundation piece the tree, these two sheets, as one sheet. Now it's shaded so that you can kind of understand these are where your sections are going to go, but you just want to pay attention to these solid lines for your paper piecing. So you're going to paper piece the trunk in a brown, then you're going to paper piece two and three in a background and the color guide will show you that. And this is what you have. Remember to trim the extra out of the seam. Now you want to place the first section of your tree but because all of your fabric is placed on this unprinted side you have no location of where to put your tree. So you turn it back over and with the sewing machine baste just where this first section goes into the seam. That will transfer the location of the first section to this side and I actually have some little basting stitches right here. Next I'm going to place my largest section so that all these open edges are a quarter of an inch above that basting. And then I'll pin it to secure it and then I'm going to lay in cut strips that are large enough for four and five. See how they're just these strips of background. I'm going to start with four on this side and then go to five. So here's four over here. I've cut a strip. I'm going to lay it right side down, just aligned up where the edge of that tree section is because the tree section is a quarter of an inch past the line. We're going to sew on that line so we want all of our raw edges past that line so they'll be 
encased in that seam. Once this is sewn, I'll trim the extra, fold it back, press it, and then I'll do this next section here that will cover this whole section. So I'm going to leave this at this point and I'll come back and show you that much finished.